Welcome to part two of the systems training. In this section, we will explain the process of group model building for causal loop diagrams. In part one, we explained how causal loop diagrams could be created from a number of data sources, such as qualitative data or stakeholder experiences. The neighborhood house in our case study selected to develop their causal loop diagram using a process called group model building. Therefore, the following videos will describe the process used to do group model building for the case study. Group model building involves bringing together a variety of stakeholders with different perspectives and working through a number of activities to create a shared model of the complex problem. As the model reflects their perspectives of the problem, it will vary depending on who was included in the modeling session. The model is not a true representation of the problem, but rather a representation of their shared perspective of the problem. A comprehensive guide to doing group model building is outside the capacity of this training, as the goal of this training is to introduce you to causal loop diagrams. However, we will explain the process we use for doing our group model building session and provide you with a number of resources to help you along the way. We use Peter Hoffman's book shown here as a guide for our session. The link to the book is included in the resources section of the training kit. Also in the resources section is a link to Scriptopedia, this is a website containing scripts used by other groups to do the group model building. For our session, we adapted the scripts from Scriptopedia to meet our needs, and we've included our adapted script in the resources section for you. We've also included the PowerPoint slides, agenda, and results from the case study session, and some additional reading. If you decide to develop a causal diagram using group model building, these materials will get you going. However, you might prefer to just develop a causal diagram on your own using your own experiences and data that's available to you. The modeling session for the case study included 11 stakeholder participants. Ideally, you should have about 5 to 12 stakeholders in the modeling session. The participants included the executive director, a few board members, and staff from different areas of the organization. We also had a modeler and two individuals that took notes and facilitated the, the session. Our modeling session was a four hour period in one day. This is far shorter than usual, but it was all the time we were able to get with the stakeholder group. Ideally, you would probably want at least two four hours over two days. We condensed the script and activities to fit into the four hour window. You'll need to adapt the materials to fit into your time window and your stakeholder group. There are a number of activities that can be done during causal loop diagram group model building session. As we only had a four hour period, we selected and adapted a few key activities. Each of these activities are explained in the following case study training videos and PDFs of the deliverables developed are also attached. First, we created a reference mode, which was used to clearly define the problem being mapped and come to consensus about the focus of the mapping session. Next, we elicited variables for the model, which we then used to develop connection circles. Fourth was the most time consuming activity, which was building the causal loop diagram model with the group. And lastly, we used a causal loop diagram to develop action ideas. The materials and resources provided will not be a perfect fit for your session, but will give you a starting point so that you can easily adapt them to fit your model building context. Be prepared to do a fair amount of upfront work in designing the script. It will make the session go more smoothly. It may feel intimidating at first, but hopefully once you watch the remaining videos demonstrating the case study, you'll be more comfortable giving it a try. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. The goal is facilitating the dialogue between stakeholders to create a shared model of the complex problem. The process will inevitably be helpful in better understanding your complex problem and doing strategic planning using a more holistic approach.